And I'm saying, stop moving and I'll let you go. But I, I wasn't going to let her go. I just loved killing women. When I started killing, I just kept on killing. So this is a story that has haunted not just Western Washington, but the entire country for decades. The Green River Killer, one of the most prolific serial killers in history, and now he is the focus of a new documentary on Tubi called Sins of the Father, The Green River Killer. So joining us now to talk about this, executive producer of the show, Robert Twilley. Robert, good morning. Good morning. So Robert, talk a little bit about what drew you to tell this story. Well, I mean, there's, there are many draws to, to this sort of story. It's a, a horrific uh, story, of course, but, um, you know, he was at one time the most prolific serial killer in, in history. Um, he had over 49 victims. It may have been as high as 90. That's still um, in debate. But it was his dual life. Uh, he was this vicious killer, but he was also... Um, a family man. He had. Uh, he was married three times. He had a son. Uh, he had this uh, outwardly devout religious life as well, and so uh, he really uh, masked this this horrible side of himself and was able to function for decades. So. I mean, I do want to ask, and you know, I mean, everyone here who is who lives in this area understands the connection to this area, but that also means I think it hits really close to home for a lot of people. So of how how are you expecting people to react to this? I mean, let's be honest. I, I think the public has a thirst for true crime. However, some people feel like coverage like this gives guys like the Green River Killer a platform. How are you expecting that reaction to be? I understand, and I think as filmmakers, there has to be a sensitivity to the victims and to um, you know the the locals who who live the the, the story. Um, I do see this as um, you know ultimately the success of law enforcement, the dedication that they brought to solving this crime. There were there were many uh, near misses in 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 terms of uh, apprehending uh, Ridgeway. Um, and it was really the emergence of some DNA uh, science that allowed him to to be to be caught. And so I I do uh, understand the uh, the sensitivities of this subject matter, and, and our producers are are, are careful uh, to balance that with uh, you know the information that we're relaying. But uh, we do believe that there's there's value in in this kind of storytelling because it does show um, the lengths that 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 law enforcement and communities have to go to uh, you know, bring these kind of killers to justice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I just, I, again, the title of the, of the, the documentary is Sins of the Father. Um, and I know you mentioned that Ridgway had this, you know, double life, really. I mean, how, how did something like that impact, say, his son? We, we didn't speak directly with Matt, but we were very fortunate to uh, have uh, his interviews, uh, taped interviews with law enforcement. Uh, and we did speak with uh, uh, co-workers of his father who, who knew uh, Matthew. Um, I mean, I don't think there was ever a suspicion that the Green River Killer was his father. He grew up, of course, uh, in the Seattle area and, and saw the headlines that, uh, that was rocking the community. Um, his engagement from his father, our, our reporting shows, was, um, you know, he lived with his mother primarily, but there was this... Um, uh, connection that they had. They, they saw each other on weekends. They, they did, you know, sort of typical father-son activities. Um, one of the truly disturbing discoveries for me as a, as a producer was that uh, uh, Ridgeway Gary uh, admitted to uh, at least committing one of his murders while uh, his son was present. The son didn't witness the murders, but he was on site. And so um, it's just a, a horrific thing to to consider, but uh, now I say that there there was this sort of normal family side to to Ridgeway, and and I suspect that Matthew's experience was more of a, a traditional father son relationship. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. All right. So if you want to check out the documentary, it is called Sins of the Father: The Green River Killer. It's that new documentary on Tubi that we mentioned. Robert, we appreciate you joining us this morning to talk about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate the time. Absolutely.